Pokemon lovers, and welcome to What Could Have Been, where we talk about the Pokemon from the Space World demo. This is episode three, and today I want to talk about baby Pokemon. Now, there's going to be two episodes on baby Pokemon because I divided them into two categories. One is baby Pokemon prototypes, and the second one is unreleased baby Pokemon. Now, we're starting out with the prototypes today. Um, these are all baby Pokemon that we all know and love, but we're supposed to look very different according to the Space World demo. And uh, some of them are good, some of them aren't, but uh, I'm excited to talk about them. So let's just do that, shall we? The first baby Pokemon I want to talk about is Pichu. Now, you know, everyone loves Pichu. Pichu is obviously the pre-evolution of Pikachu. Pikachu is great some people might say. <laughs> and um, Pichu is quite adorable, but it was supposed to look like a much more round sun. And I am a huge fan of this round Pichu that we never had, but that we should have had, because current Pichu is cute and stuff, but this Pichu, this round ass Pichu, I love it. It's so cute but it doesn't exist. Um, if it wasn't Pokemon Go, it would be wearing like a cute little hat. <laughs> I want it. I want it. The next baby prototype is Cleffa, also known as P. <laughs> P. Now this uh, Cleffa, you know, Cleffa's cute. I am a big fan of Cleffa. Not a big fan of this prototype Cleffa creature. I don't know what that weird antenna on its head is. Is it using that to contact its alien friends or like it just looks like a pink blob with an antenna and I'm just not sure what to think of it. It's it kind of freaks me out for some weird reason. I mean it is cute in a way. It has Chobit's ears for some weird reason but I prefer new Cleffa. New Cleffa. Old Cleffa. Eh. Then We've got Igglybuff. Now, Igglybuff hasn't changed that much since the demo, but this is what it's supposed to look like. It was round, just round. It didn't have any head bumps or blobs, globs, head lumps. I don't know what they are. I mean, they're not hair, but um, they're a thing. Uh, it, like, apart from that, it's pretty much the same. It has the swirly thing, it has the creepy soulless eyes. But I'm so glad they added the lumps, because without the lumps, it's just a... a ball. It's less round now, but it's more cute now. And thank you for that nice job, Pokemon. Um, that's good. Next up is Tyrog, and Tyrog's name in the demo was Gong. Gong. Now, I don't know, if isn't it a thing that you uh, hit a gong in before a fighting match in fighting martial arts? Is that a thing or is it a bell? I don't... I don't know, but why is it called gong? I don't fucking know. I'm a big fan of this guy because actual Tyrogue kind of freaks me out, even though it looks like it can throw a punch and fight. Actual Tyrogue... It just kind of freaks me out. I don't know why, it just it's not great. It's just not great. I don't know. I don't know what it is about Tyrogue, but it's not. It's not. Eh. Gong, on the other hand, looks like a tiny bear with little boxing gloves. Fucking great. It's more baby-like. It's cuter, but it does look a lot less agile than Tyrogue does now. And I guess there's something to say for that. But this could be an alone Pokemon. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. I think it's cool. Next up is Mime Jr., also known as Ballerine, which is the name in the demo. So Mime Jr. came out in Gen 4, but here it is, in the demo for Gen 2. It was supposed to be in Gen 2, like who the fuck knew? I'm so glad it didn't come out in Gen 2 though, because this egg thing this egg creature. I don't know, it freaks me out. It reminds me of Humpty Dumpty. I'm just glad they took two more generations to make it look more cute. The old one looks like a creepy clown egg and I'm just not down for that kind of shit. I don't like clowns. Eggs are okay. New Miss Mime Jr. looks like a cupcake and cupcakes do contain egg. So that's, that's a thing. 
Do they contain egg? I don't bake. I don't fucking know. <laughs> then, next up is Smoochum, also known as Lip. It was supposed to be called Lip. I don't... I don't know, that's a dumb name, but pff, whatever. They didn't really change the design around too much. They changed the hair, which they shouldn't have because now it looks like a straw hat. And the old Smoochum looked like it had like pretty golden locks, but I don't know if, I guess maybe they're just into straw hats. I don't, who knows? I don't know. That's straw hats. I am glad though that they changed around the weird flowy dress that it was wearing because it kind of looks strange. It looks, it does look like it's wearing like a little bib and a baptism gown. Is that a thing? I don't, I don't know anything. If they would have just like changed the dress and have kept the old hair, it would have been so freaking good. I kind of like lip. Smooch him. Just should have kept the hair. Should've kept the hair. Next up is Ella Kid, also known as Ella Baby. Now Ella Baby, that should have been a thing. I, I'm so sad that Ella Baby is not a thing. That's great. I don't know what they're doing with this round egg shape type thing they've got going here. A lot of round boys. I like Ella Kid. The regular Ella Kid is cool, but look at this egg boy. Look at this egg boy. It's a yellow egg with a... What is that on its head? It looks like one of those toys that babies use to like, they like put rings on them. They're like, I know how to put a ring on a stick. I don't, I was gonna make a very weird hand movement. I'm glad I didn't. Ella baby, fucking Ella baby. I love you. I'm just, I just have a lot of questions about this guy and I'm just sad it's not real because Ella baby. The last one for today is Magby. Magby had a big makeover before it made it into the actual games. Let me just point out real quick that the Japanese name for Magby is Booby. It's Booby. Uh, I just really like the Magmar line. There's something about them that I really, really think is cool. And I'm so glad they changed the design around after the demo because why is it so spiky? Magmar is such a like, bulbous round guy and this spiky magby would have made no sense at all and I'm so glad they changed it. And why does it look so grumpy? Why does it look so grumpy? Regular old magby is like cute. I like demo magby, three out of five. Regular magby, six out of five. And I'm so glad this spiky boy is out of the picture. That's, that was, that was it. That was it. That was all, all it was. Uh, this, it wasn't a lot short episode short but sweet next week though we are talking about the baby pokemon that never were like this baby grimer what the fuck is that i don't know it's a baby grimer it has a little tooth what the i don't it's crazy i love it i'm so glad that they didn't add so many baby pokemon it would have been very messy <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this series let me know what your favorite baby pokemon prototype was in this episode uh, in the comments down below and don't forget to uh tell me how weird my hair looks in this entire video what is it doing i don't know it's just doing something it's just doing something and i have no control over it and um uh, have a great week and goodbye